Need more detail on completing a virus blanket? Welcome to my nine part series on stitch by stitch, round by round of completing a virus blanket. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Welcome to part one of my crochet along and I'm going to show you stitch by stitch and row by row how to do a virus blanket. This goes into great detail so if you don't want the detail of every single stitch jump over to my other video we'll put a link down below that does a, a more of an overview and you go a lot faster if you've got your stitches down go for that one but this one is going to tell you how to do everything. So this is my beautiful one that I'm working on. It's gonna, I'm going to keep going and going and going and going as you do with the virus. I'm going to end up, uh, this is going to end up being a king size blanket. So I'm going to put that aside right now. This is the one that we showed you earlier. Like this. And I also did the green one. This is the one that I did on my, on my overview. Right here. I'm going to use new colors today. I'm going to use I'll be using my Karen Simply Soft in the fuchsia and in white, which calls for a five millimeter hook. So I grab my five. So what I'm showing you today is I know I said I said row by row and stitch by stitch, but what I'm going to show you today is actually round one, two, and three, which is our base right here in the center. Before we start going on that, so this is how you do your base. You need these stitches to be counted properly, otherwise the the rest of it won't work. So good place to start is at the beginning. Right now we're going to do rounds one, two, and three. So get your yarn and your corresponding hook and slip knot any way you want. However you make a slip knot is good for me. And we're going to chain six. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now just go into the very first chain that you made and do a slip stitch so we have a ring. There. Easy peasy. Now we have a ring right here. Inside the ring we have to do our double crochets for our first base right here. Actually. Let's see if I can get this to show on the screen. Right here. We're working right here. Right here. So there's our ring. And we're going to chain three, which is our first double crochet. One, two, three. And then we want to do 19 more in the center of our ring. So that chain three starts as, as our first, uh, counts as a double crochet. So there you go. Technically I just made two. One with our chain three and there's number two. We want to do a total of 20. So here's number three. And number four. Five. You can go over that original tail a little bit too. Here's number six. Number seven, number eight, number nine. These are all double crochets. So this is number ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. and 20. I'm going to pull that in a little bit tighter. There we go. We just want to slip stitch into this third chain. And 
and then we can count our stitches. So now we have a total of 20, including the chain three at the beginning. So it was a chain three and 19 more double crochets in that ring. Now for round two, chain three, and we're going to do an increase. And when you're working in the round, making a circle, an increase is two stitches in every stitch from the previous row. So this is our first stitch, and we're going to do another one in that same stitch. So there's two. Go into the next stitch. Three. And two stitches in here. Four. These are all double crochets. Five and six. Seven. Oopsie. Seven. And eight. And ten. I'm doing an increase in each one here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two double crochets in every stitch. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 38 and then right here in this little stitch it's hard to see right here there's a tiny stitch it's it pulled really close so there's number 39 and number 40 hooray that's round two already. We just want to slip stitch into our original chain three. I'm going to pull on my original tail just a little bit, close up that circle, a smidge, and it's puckering a little bit, but it'll lie flat as soon as we start building more around it, it will be just fine. So that was round two already. And here is round three. So we're going to do another increase, but this increase is a double crochet and a chain instead of two double crochets. So we're going to chain three for our first double crochet, plus one for the chain, and then double crochet into the next stitch right here and 
and a chain one. Double crochet in the next chain. In the next stitch, chain one. Double crochet and chain one. Double crochet chain one. Double crochet, chain one. This will go all the way around. Double crochet and chain one all the way around in every stitch. And a double. Chain one, double, chain one, and every stitch. Those are double crochet and a chain one. All the way around. So I double crochet and a chain one. Double crochet and a chain one. Now I like to make sure that I have my right amount of stitches. So I'm going to count these really fast. It should be 40 posts. Perfect. And I was needing one more, so I'm in the right spot. One more right here, double crochet. And we still need that chain one so that there's a chain in between our first post and our second post. And then slip stitch into the third chain, which is one, two, three, right here. So there is always a slip, oh, always a chain in between each of our last posts. So this one still exists at the very beginning because we did a chain three plus one. So it was chain four. The chain three was our first double crochet. And then that extra chain, number four, was the chain in between post number one and post number two. And there's also our very last one. So there we go. That is rounds. That completes rounds one, two, 
and three. See how easy that is? We did the original circle right here and an increase right here. Whoopsie. Go this way. The original ring right here with 20 double crochets. There's the increase. Take it up to 40. And this one was the double crochets with a chain in between. So we end up with 40 posts and 40 chains. So there you go. Right now we just made a circle, but this part is extremely important. Make sure you have all your stitches. Count them. Uh, make sure you have everything that you really need so that your corners always end up in the right spot. So there's parts. This is part one of my nine part series and I'm going to go on to round four in my next video which shows where we start our corners. So there you go. This is the very beginning. It doesn't look like a virus blanket yet but this is very, 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 very important. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business and please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications so you know when round four is available. That would be part two and I will see you very soon. Thanks.